Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me. This video is going to show you how you can use Westlaw's Drafting Assistant Essential to help you build a table of authorities for your appellate brief assignment. So I've logged into lawschool.westlaw.com and accessed Westlaw Precision. And now I'm gonna click on the top left toggle and I will click into the option that says Drafting Assistant. What this will do for you is save you an astronomical amount of time towards the end of the brief writing process. I will go ahead and click continue. My screen is a little small. The table of authorities doesn't seem like it's a difficult thing to do, but it can be time consuming because you really can't totally finish it until you are totally finished your appellate brief because any addition or deletion to the text of your brief can really repaginate the entire thing. So you would have to keep going back and, and looking where citations hit in your brief to repaginate your table of authorities. I have a sample brief saved on my desktop, so I will open that document. And it's going to upload that brief that I have, and I'm going to click where it says TOA Builder on the left. And you'll need to create a new profile. I just have one already called Appellate Brief, so you can call it whatever you want. You can select the jurisdiction if that is important to the citation format. Um, you can see here all of the different content content categories of the types of documents you may have cited to in your appellate brief. You can select your um, font style and size. And again, you can select any of the other uh, special formatting issues or options that you have. The tab leader between your citation and the page number, and then single spacing, um, as or double spacing for your TOA. Since I already have one built, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and I'm gonna click run. And this is going to pull out all of your citations that are in your brief that you've uploaded here to Drafting Assistant. Might take a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or so, just depending on um, how big your brief is. And so here they all are. I'm gonna click Insert TOA. It will ask where I want it to go. Um, so I'm just gonna click right here at the top. I will click Submit. And here is my table of authorities. I will click Finish. And then it will give you the option to download um, this new document that you've created. I did want to show you something on this screen and I use this brief specifically because of this. Now, as I'm scrolling through the table of authorities, I can see that perhaps something wasn't picked up or perhaps maybe I have a drafting error of my own. I can see in this, in Ray Desir, uh, there is part of the citation. I don't have the page number of that case or uh, the court in year listed here. As I keep scrolling through, I may see other errors like that. I can see here that I'm missing the title and the USC abbreviation for my statute um, that I have here. I can also see that I have punctuation in my CFR and then no punctuation. Now, what I wanted to mention is with any technology that you're using, it should be used as a supplement, not as a total substitute for actually doing your work. You can see that this allowed me to sort of build out my table of authorities in just a few minutes here as I uploaded the document and then clicked, you know, insert TOA and then you know, create it. But now the time that I saved in actually doing all of this will allow me to easily go back 
to page 19 and I can double check that citation and maybe check to see, did I miss something? Maybe drafting assistant didn't pick it up. Maybe there was a couple of extra spaces for some reason. So this is what, <clears throat> excuse me, this is why I say to use it as a supplement, not as a total substitute because your professors are not gonna accept, well, I just use you know Westlaw's drafting assistant. So that's why that page number wasn't there they are likely going to say, well, you should have double checked that. You know, that's not on, you know, Westlaw's, you know, fault. You should have double checked your table of authorities and made sure all of the pages matched, all of the citations were correct and in the correct format um, that your school uses. So I wanted to highlight table of authorities using drafting assistant essentials, just a great time saver I strongly urge you, if you have an old memo assignment or something else that you've written um, in the past semester in the fall, pull that document up and try it to see, you know, is it picking everything up? You know, how does it work? Just do a little bit of practice. But this will just save you a huge amount of time towards the end of the writing project and again then just give you time to prepare for the oral arguments you know section of your brief writing process or you know just give you a little bit of cushion of time in case you're um, redrafting anything or you know things like that that you might need other time spent better on for yourself that's it thanks so much and good luck and if you have any questions email me at any time you can always find me um, on the main homepage where it says contact us and my email is listed there. Thanks so much and have a great day.